Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Glad to have you with us. This is the second episode of Lightly Season. How you guys doing, man? I'm doing good, fam. I'm doing good, man. Actually, to be quite honest, I had a, I had a pretty, pretty interesting week. Um, I'm going to show you my adventures with customer service. So, you know, I keep track of how my credit's doing like I think everybody should. And just randomly, I'm checking my credit and I see these three charges on there. And mm-hmm. they're from my doctor's office. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on, right? So I go and check it out. There are three like $35 charges or two $35 charges and a $33 charge. And to make a long story short, let's just say this, right? So I call customer service, call billing, finally reach them. And um, I ask them what's going on. Like I've been to the doctor recently. No one said anything about me owing anything or whatever the case. So how do they make it all the way into collections without me even being aware of it? Right. Uh huh. So they're like, wow, these, these look like they're from 2018 and 2019 and they're not even on the system anymore. We don't know how this happened. So, and these charges before you go into it, um, were they all like back to back to back charges? That's how you got to like really notice these like charges from the doctors or collection agencies? No, nah, they were just like, when you check your credit on, on one of those credit checking apps, uh, nobody gives us any money, so I'm not going to mention them. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you can see like things that are going into collections, negative, negative remarks, things uh, like that. Got you. That's, so, how you. that's how you got to see it. Yeah, so I see these three new things pop up. And I'm like, yeah, what the f***? So I call customer service and yada, 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 you know. It's from 2018, 2019. So um, they give me the dates, right? And luckily, I had one of the, one of the, the, the dates in, my, in my, uh, my bank statement from like three years ago. So I show them, right? And I'm like, yo, I paid this. How did it make it all the way to collections? You know what this nigga had the nerve to tell me, dog? This nigga had the nerve to tell me. What'd I say? He was like, yo, actually, that payment that you made that day, we used for another payment that you missed previously. I'm like, that you never told me about? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, how, how is that even possible? Then the, nigga, then the nigga said, this happens to everybody. What, they try to roll over payment, basically? So I have no clue. I don't know. I have no clue how this even makes sense. I even told him, like, the way you're explaining it, it doesn't make You don't even, you're not even explaining it like it, it makes sense to you. He was like, you how don't even you gonna, believe this. <laughs> how are you going to tell me that you, you're going you're gonna to say that I missed a payment when I was there and I paid? And you guys decided to use it for something else that you didn't even tell me about. And did they add a late fee on top of that? Of, Just, course, of course they did. Oh, that's great. Of course they did. Okay. Of course they did. Okay. So you know what I did? This is my thing. When it comes to, 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 to dealing with companies, dealing with offices and stuff like that, tell, tell on them. Tell on them. Yeah. Snitches is definitely. Crime stoppers full, like a motherfucker. Snitching tell has on been full ass. effect so, this time. So I went to Google and I just pretty much wrote the whole story on Google. Next thing you know, the CEO hits me. Oh, uh, okay. The guys that have gives to. Me his, gives me his personal number and asks me to talk about it. <laughs> Because so, I told them they're like these are fraudulent b- billing practices. So, anyways, long story short, all of that shit is gone. Damn, that's that sounds like a pretty interesting week and a kind of a pissy week too. Honestly, like just to start off your week, you know, you have to deal with that and you know additional charges that you didn't even make make on yeah, it, and shit, it's affecting your credit yeah, on that top shit, of that. Yeah, like that shit's as f- and none of the times that I've been in recently. Did they even mention anything to me? So, like, I say that to say, yo, listen, don't let don't let them just roll over you and tell you you got these payments or you did this and did that when they have no record of these things, bro. Like, yeah. they just trying to get money out you. Yeah, you definitely, when it comes to customer service and you feel like you're wrong, just definitely ask for all the receipts, everything, timestamps, everything that you could do. I mean, make sure you talk to customer retention also. And always try to pay things with card, things that could be traced and tracked. So, 
you know, uh, I think you mentioned that you had to look at your bank statements. Like, yeah, from, man, from like years three years ago. ago. So, yeah, like, you know, if you would have paid in cash, that would have been like nearly impossible to find. But since you can go on like a bank app, you could just type in their name and call their bluff like you had their phone number. And you did. So you called them and you called them. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, you got to. You can't take take no for an answer, man. Like, because they'll get over on you any chance they get. And they really don't give a f- like none whatsoever. Yeah, in the hood, they tend to call it uh, being hoed or hoodwink. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, like, if you ever hear that term, it's not, it's not really a red light district term. It's just more of you feel like you're being sold short. Yeah, a little facts. bit less than less than, and, and as a customer paying, you know it, that's a terrible experience to have. You know you're at the you're at the doctor's office, and you know you get that you you see something on your credit for something that you've been paying on time, right? Yeah, away. So it was a copay, and it's like, how did I miss a copay when you can't even go see the doctor without without paying the copay first so none of it made sense nah i got you got you man and, and honestly when it comes to credit like i'll be honest with you i don't have any kids right now but I'll, i'm protecting my credit like my firstborn so you know it, it's definitely something i completely understand when you see charges you gotta like, protect your credit got to man it's, it's it's super important it's the only way to move it around in, in america and it Unless seems like in the world but uh, if you're yeah. not scamming protect your credit well, protect your credit from scammers, too, though. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, man, I actually been reading up a lot on Elon this week, man. He's been doing a lot of power plays, a lot of moves. It was a lot of negotiation with the whole Twitter thing. And he's now apparently bought Twitter for $48 million. $48 billion. Billion. Oh, excuse billion. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I, I, I tend to mumble, so a little M came out. But yeah, billion. Let me clean. Let me what clear B, that Big up. B. Whew, yeah, Big yeah. B. I forgot that. That's, that's so many millions times over, man. So yeah, man, uh, he, he decided to pull out. Apparently, he pulled out about $15 billion out of his own funds. To, he got it. Yeah, yeah. That's light. Apparently, he has like $200 million, Like Billion. Billion, excuse me. <laughs> Billion, you know, and yeah, man, this guy is pretty is it's pretty crazy because my thoughts on it honestly is that he's gonna be able to control a lot of information and the information that he can control really can affect a lot of things. Like I was thinking uh politics and then that that my comp you know, my suspicion of it was confirmed earlier because I was reading another report that MSNBC was speaking and talking about how it can actually affect the GOP and the Democratic Party and things of that nature. So, you know, I, I was actually looking into I was like, damn, the, you know, information is power and Twitter is like a lot of false information. But there is a lot of truth out there that people do put out there quick information you know you might have some videos out that shouldn't be out and twitter tends to have it out first more than anything i mean i know it's a lot of a lot of info and stuff like that but i don't i don't put too much stock into twitter or what i say or what i hear on twitter you get what i'm saying like twitter twitter isn't the biggest the biggest thing for me when it comes to information like I still watch the news, I still uh, read reports, I still read articles. I don't know if if anybody else still does that, but I do. So like Twitter, if it isn't a if it isn't a Woj bomb or something to do with with sports or something like that, really and truly, I don't put too much stock into Twitter because most of the times people are just there getting their shit off. I mean, there's been rumors that he wants to make a paywall behind uh, the, you know, the blue check that people ha- tend to have and businesses tend to have. And he wants to X out, like, you know, those Twitter bots and, you know, the fake accounts, basically. Oh, KD's done for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no, there's going to be no false e- easy money sniper or, you know, little Jane no burners. 35, little J no 35s burners. or anything. So, yeah, none of that's going to be happening. So... I mean, I kind of like it. The paywall is a little different. I guess everybody has a chance, you know? It's a little different, though. Yeah, I mean, I guess I think I, I was reading something about that, too. It's like, essentially, you're just paying to to prove that it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is, but it, for one, I guess, like, the blue check is an ego thing, for one, but... Yeah, because it used to just be for famous famous people, you know, 
athletes athletes and like big big media outlets big media type. outlets companies yeah big companies it would have to be like fortune 500 companies and gary v and, and, <laughs> and like the supremes of the world would have like a blue check on there so i mean i'll say this though what i do like about twitter you know is the release drop dates and stuff like that like you know for fashion and all that stuff that is kind of and, and woj bombs between yeah. those two those are but the, what the, i want to know is why is why is what i want to know is why is everybody mad why are there so many people mad that he spent his money to buy this company like i don't get it homeboy from uh shang chi shang chi yeah he you couldn't find something better to do with 44 billion i was like you know like come on guy like yeah, I mean, he's a businessman and he bought a business. I don't, I don't understand it. I mean, I, I don't understand why people would be mad. I, uh, unless like it was owned by another billionaire and another billionaire bought it, so I don't see what the problem is. Unless you're his enemy, I don't really see a, a problem or an issue with this. Besides the, the massive amount of Tesla ads we're gonna get for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't yeah, re- but whoever Jack Dorsey and them were in bed with, that's how that's what ads we were getting on Twitter anyway. So I don't. Like, I don't see what what the problem, like, honestly, what is the problem? And you know what the problem is? All these people talking, they ain't got billions of dollars like Elon Musk. Right just, yeah, because a lot of times, some you know, it sounds like, it's like they hate. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, that's I just don't, what, I don't understand it. To, to I couldn't, say. yeah, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't say anything else. Say. I couldn't say anything else. I, I wanted to say lie. something else. You know, something maybe a little bit more eloquent or whatever. But eloquent, it's hate. intellectual. Yeah, it's, it's just hate. hate, man. It's just like. It's in their veins. I mean, I don't got it. You get what I'm saying? I wish I did. But shit, if I had that much money to spend, I might buy Twitter too. Yeah, but you know, them, those are the type of dudes uh, on uh, Twitter talking about Elon Musk, Musk saying, I ain't got a hate in my body, but fuck that nigga. Yeah, man. I was- <laughs> That shit is wild to me, bro. Like, I never understood that. Oh, man. I'm actually looking at a Woj bomb right now, speaking of Twitter. And, oh, man, your favorite athlete. What's Adrian? What's Adrian? What's Adrian talking about? Your favorite athlete. Who? Uh, Kyrie! Kyrie! <laughs> Kyrie! Mr. Jesus Mr. Christ. Mr. Mr. What Mr. is this Mr. Middle guy? Finger. Mr. Uh, Mr. Suck My Dick. Suck My... Yeah, man. You oh, already know. man. Kyrie. Mr. Flying the Bird at fans in a game. Come oh, on. Yeah, what's, yeah. What's, 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 what's wrong with him now? It looks like he's got a, a five-page like tweet session just going in. But from what a I Twitter see... Twitter rant? Yeah. He didn't, yeah. he didn't choose to do it on his live like he normally does? Nah, nah. This one. I, I, I'm... I'm really looking at it. It's, it's he got his he got his uh, his war thumbs going. Yeah, let me go ahead and read this off for you got for you, man. It says, "All right, when I see my name or my brother's sister's names getting spun through the media, I refer to all my research about who they are. Their job is to control the public perception, all while profiting off discussing, discrediting, and disrespecting people's lives for entertainment. I send shots as a puppet master, not to not." The puppets. All the puppets do is run around society trying to gain popularity and state opinions. What a life. My name is worth billions to these media corporations. My brothers and sisters who deal with this know exactly what I mean. When you become free mentally and spiritually, there is not much to this twisted racist society can surprise you with. My ancestors left behind all the wisdom and the truth of their agenda to be exposed. When you know exactly who they are, they can't hide from their filth. A a lot of these media corporations make their money by degrading black, African, indigenous community heroes. They thrive off of it. They can sell it back to us by uh, having a hand selected of persons, a group of people spark controversy about them for the world to see. Just watch all these people who wake up every day and report about people's lives on TV and social media and then profit off of them. And then they justify their jobs by saying they get paid to say how they feel. LOL. It's like these people live in a fantasy. End quote. And six tweets. Brother Kyrie. What say you? Mm. What say you to your favorite basketball player? That's a lot to unpack. 
that's a lot to unpack. Um, Uncle Ali. I don't know where to begin. That's Uncle Ali Drew. Brother Kyrie. Um, You know what? He's probably right in some aspects, especially, I mean, but like, what is he, what is he talking about specifically? Like, what does he mean? Like, I wish he'd give like a concrete example, like, yo, what is he talking about? Just like what? You leaving your teammates high and dry or like, like, what is it, bro? Like, what, what is it that, and who is it? Are you talking to like the Stephen A's? That are paid to report on basketball. I think they. I think like, they also shot at Stephen A. Towards the like, back end. Like, but of those. it's like if you're talking about black people, like the NBA is like eighty percent black. I mean, don't quote me, but the NBA is like eighty percent black. At least it looks like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep that all the way real. Yeah, like I don't know what. I don't know where. Where's what? What, what does he expect? Sports reporters do they 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 report on sports. It's not even called reporting anymore. It's called reactions. Yeah, it is a reactionary society. It's not not even reporting. So it's it's a reaction. So these are opinionists. A lot of times, so like, what do you what do you expect? These same people are the reason why you can have a shoe deal from Nike worth hundreds of millions of dollars and be on your eighth or ninth shoe. And have a Pepsi deal. These same people are the reason that you can now, you know, be disgruntled that you don't like the shoe from Nike and you're able to express your opinion because these people report on it and they make you popular enough to give you a platform. Not only that, like this is the same media that the media helped, is the platform. The media, the same media that helped him get out of Cleveland because what did he do? He reported to the media, right? Not to LeBron, not really to the front office immediately, from what I remember, allegedly. You know, he he got out there through the media saying he demanded to be traded. He or he was going to get, or he's going to get, get his, the, uh, the, his knee surgery. Exactly. So he used the media then too. So. You can't have it both ways to where they're your friend and then they're your enemies all at the same time. Yeah, man, like, you can't have your cake and eat it too, man. Like, you can't be in bed with them one way and then talk all this shit the other way. You know what I mean? Like, the media is what gave you an Uncle Drew movie. And I'm not advocating shut up and dribble, but... No, I'm not advocating that at all. You know, like, it's like, come on, man, like, Right now, you don't look like the right messenger on it. Just stop trying to stop trying to say these people are trying to trying to keep black people down, bro. Especially other black people, dog. Like I've never, I watched Stephen A. You yeah, know what me I mean? Too. Like I think him. he's a really, I think he's a really. He was like one of the first he was opinionists. Next, you know what I mean? He, he was, was like really one of the first opinionists. He was the next to, one after Stuart Scott. Yeah. Like, yeah. just, just straight up. Like, you thought he was definitely cool and everything like that right after. He had, a, he had a perspective that most people like us are familiar with. Exactly. So this is why Stephen A definitely works. We call him Screaming A. You can call him whatever you want, but he's consistent. He, is, he does have, like, the number one show for a reason in the mornings. You know what I mean? It's it, There's a reason for that. There's consistency. There's a, but it's opinions. Like, so, yeah, man, like, why try to kick that man down? I know he's... He actually never said anything about you on the court. It's mostly you doing these opinions and it affecting you on the court. That's really where I think yeah, the like, whole dichotomy of Irving and Stephen A has gone, gone awry, you know? Yeah, I'm with you on that, man. Like, yes, media outlets do tend to keep minorities down and stuff like that. But that's like, I don't want to say it's nothing new. Definitely but nothing it's new. nothing new. You Definitely know what I mean? New. Like, it's been happening. But we're also at a, I almost want to say, on media and... Yeah, we have uh, our own outlets. Yeah, we have our you own know outlets. What I mean? And we're, we're pretty much in the forefront of a lot of these sports, uh, sports like commentary and analyst and things like that. We're working our way into coaching and 
front office jobs I mean, and ownership too. You know, the platform is. I, I would say now more than ever, the platform is there for minority groups. Yeah, like I was just. Uh, I don't know what what it was I was reading, but there's like an indigenous, like one of the indigenous. She's like one of the top models now. Uh, you know what I mean? And like she's been making the rounds. No, nah, that's that's pretty cool actually. When you think, you know about what it. I mean? And it's like. It's been a whole, I don't want to make it seem like everything's roses, Definitely you know what I mean? Roses. But like, compared to how it was like even 10 years ago, I think it's significantly better. Yeah, that's true. When it comes to media and seeing somebody like you in media. Yeah, that it was like, honestly. Bro. Hearing, some, hearing somebody that speaks like you in media, somebody that you can relate to, more opportunities for People of color, minorities, I mean, there's, uh, there's, indigenous. There's a lot of there's a lot of actual full broadcast with just like two black, you know, bl two black co-hosts on there, and it's out there. So there's uh, a few of them. I'm not gonna sit there and be the first. And a one lot to, of times, a lot of times, it's it, the sports. Know? A lot of times, it's the sports community where you see that first. Oh yeah, they're, they're typically the ones that started off, and then I think, well, mm -hmm. sports. Just so you know, like when you when you actually have like a sports show or anything like that to be honest they're usually number one on the radio if that town has any professional sports or any college sports no yes. matter what in the, in the nielsen ratings or whatever the ratings are guaranteed those are the number one so yeah man like it, it's it's a way i think it's been a really good trend when it comes to that overall like, and i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and put this out there before you before you finish i don't I don't necessarily think this would have came out if they would have progressed in the first round yeah. on to the second round. I was thinking about how they did get swept out, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, um, my thoughts on them getting swept out was mostly because of Kyrie's issue. I, I didn't think they were going to get swept. I knew they were going to get beat, but swept? I'm going to put a lot of the blame on Kyrie, and I'll explain to you why. And Kevin Durant didn't play that great the whole way through. You know, he definitely has some to blame, but I'll put the blame on Kyrie due to the fact that the chemistry, when it needs to be there, and having that continuity that they always say in sports, that word, that's what was missing. Yeah, and you, honestly, if you were there the, the same, whole year, that would have been there. You guys could have beat the Celtics. The that's same why. media, the same media that, that, you say you're trying to control your narrative, essentially, which is like the buzzword. Mm -hmm. They were the ones saying that, you know, you're in Ramadan and actually trying to show sympathy for you. They didn't even talk about Jason, Jason, uh, not Jason, no, no, uh, Jalen Brown. Brown, right? Jalen Brown. Brown was going through Ramadan, too. Hair, they didn't mention that a single time. Hair braided and all. Jalen Brown was out there hustling, getting his points. Nobody said a word. It's Nobody like said. Like, I don't even think they said he had a bad series at all. I'm going to keep it a bean. I don't even think Kyrie's handles are that good. Like, they're mechanical to me. He does the same three-point, the same move, the same combination repeatedly. Yeah, yeah, it, it is a carbon copy. But, hey, people keep falling for it, so keep doing it, I guess, you know. But, and, but like I said, the problem was Kyrie, but another issue was Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons not hmm. showing up. I think him not. I don't think Ben Simmons should be at fault for anything. No, nah, I don't think I don't think Ben Simmons are you should be a pass fault. For, are you giving him a pass for Philly too? That's a whole other bag of worms. If you're talking about Brooklyn, let's talk about Brooklyn. Yeah, I want to talk about Brooklyn, but are you like giving him a pass and then giving him a pass in Brooklyn? Because that's a hey man. Ben Simmons was on man. Fuck y'all niggas, man. Y'all 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 threw me to the wolves after the playoffs, knowing whatever he was going. You know what I'm saying? True. Niggas true. said fuck them niggas, man. I get and then, it. Then then. Them niggas it. said, man, fuck that nigga. And then try to make up with him. I get it. He should have left Philly, and that happened. They should have let him go when he said he wanted to leave. But why wasn't he already ready for the Nets, though? He was there for a good little time. I mean, it was I'm, guessing, the I'm guessing his back was messed up. I don't know. So who won the trade? I mean, right now, Philly won the trade. Right okay. now. But... You're really banking on them a lottery if, picks? If Ben Simmons comes back next year, great. Then what? Everybody's saying Harden's um, falling off, right? But what if they? What if Philly wins with a falling off Harden this year? Injuries do happen. We, we've seen it with Middleton. We've if seen it Philly with, wins, 
then they're going to have to pay Harden like almost $300 million. You think they want to do that? They ain't going to want to do that. But you think gonna they want to pay that man that much money? They got Maury behind them, so they'll pay him, actually. Now that I think about it, just it took me a half a second to think about it. Maury leveraged everything to get this guy. I guess. I don't know if that was necessarily the smartest thing he could have done, but, you know. I didn't even know what other deals were out there, but at least they got something. And with Harden, at least you can try to finagle something else, you know? It's just hopefully he doesn't walk away for free this year, you know, by, by the end of the year, which could easily happen. Which is easily, easily happen, man. And all these other people just losing out in the playoffs, too. I've been watching the East. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough, easy, man. It's, it's been it's everybody, easy ass Everybody whoopings. catching hammies. Easy ass whoopings. Everybody's catching hammies. Everybody is like, niggas is dropping like flies, man. Yeah. Middleton. Dropping like real fly, like flies. Middleton out of here. Levine out of here with COVID. Uh, who else is out of here? Uh, Book. Book out of here for a little bit until this next round. Uh, they won their, they won, right? They, they, they're in the next Kyle round. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Jimmy yeah. Butler. Jimmy Butler out of here. He had like some lower extremity getting hurt or whatever. You sound like a hockey injury, yeah. lower extremity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pause. But, you know, it, it's just it's just crazy how this whole playoffs is unfolding and everything like that, man. It, I've actually had a good time watching It's fire, that. though, yeah. yeah like, I'm not going to lie. It's been like some nice little drama. The best part about it is always something to watch. Like, yeah, I've been, the, I've been I mean, pretty today, happy about today's that. Thursday. So um, the draft is tonight for the, for the NFL fans. Um, Yo, honestly, I couldn't. You couldn't pay me any type of money to know who's actually worth the damn in this draft because usually it's a quarterback driven draft. Uh, like you know, it's know. all it's all about the QBs. Know. And from what I'm actually looking here, I actually scrolled through the whole little mock draft and everything, and I did not see one quarterback on there that was actually going to be in the first round. That's so, tough. So there's no first round quarterbacks. There's That's tough. Not even that um, Willis kid. No, no. They're look, saying that Pittsburgh was thinking about drafting him. According to CBS mock draft, he was. He's looking like he's going to be in the second round. And I'm looking at it too. The first overall pick that they have right now is coming from, I believe, Alabama, like usual, Jacksonville. You know, first overall, Evan Neal. But, like, let's go to your favorite team. You like the Jets, right? Yeah, the Jets. But uh, New York, you know. They need a quarterback. I, I'm not really a, a fan of this this Wilson kid necessarily. I mean, chances are you're, y'all going to pick up somebody brolic. You know what I'm saying? He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's a little, he's a little, uh, he's a little small, man. Pause. Like. Like, he doesn't seem confident. Oh, you're um, speaking on Wilson. Yeah, Wilson. He doesn't seem confident. He like, he's just not, I don't know. He just, he doesn't just, just doesn't look like it. Imagine a Wilson discrediting a Wilson. Hey, it's out there, man. It I, I, I got I to gotta speak my truth, right? Yeah, it happens. It happens. But speaking of uh, a Will, actually, you guys are going to go for another Will, but it's Williams, uh, uh, Williams, actually. Jamison Williams. The wide receiver? The wide receiver from Alabama is projected to fall to the I mean, he tore his ACL. I mean, both of those Alabama wide receivers tore their knees up. But you guys are going like to bank on him. playoff. You guys are going to bank on him on the 10th pick. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, they're saying they're saying honestly, they wanna, I really don't even know what's going on, man. They, they, they're saying they want to build uh, build about around Wilson, so they at least want to give him a I fair shot. Not. I hope not. He's trash. He's basuda. The two reports I heard is that they want to either go with the uh, edge rusher on the other side to help him get more touches and mess up the other QB, or go with a wide out just like this and just start getting a crazy wide receiver core that's young and they could grow together and make something happen. Hopefully you guys have some Joe Namath years, but nah. I mean, I, I, those I don't days see are it. long gone. Yeah. I don't see it. I don't see it, man. Those Jet, days are Jets long are going to jet, jet all the time. You know what I mean? Like, they tend to just really be... The Jets are going to jet. That's what yeah, they're going to do. Yeah, like they always fumble the bag every time, man. It's a problem for me, at Boy. least watching them. You know, like it's just not... It's, it's fun. Yeah, I've had a hard life as a, as, a, as, a, as a sports fan, bro. I'm surprised you ain't got no grades behind that. I, being a Knicks fan, being a Jets fan. So um, you, like, you like stress. 
Yeah, bro. I guess though. Being, like being, this, in, the, being in the music industry, being <laughs> being a Knicks and Jets fan. Boy. It's just all heart, it's all heartaches. It's all, it's all yeah. It's all it's all just highs and lows. Yeah. More lows than highs. But the highs are really high. Yeah. Like it, it's, it's it's real crazy just trying to th- I mean, honestly, I'll say this. I've been a Dolphins fan and I was like what? Yeah, bro, it's like but I've you been know. a I've been a Jets fan. It's it's just as bad, if not worse. I've been a Heat fan, and we've had our better years lately. So, you know, ever since, like, the D-Wade years, uh, those were the years starting off just so. I mean, we had a popping. we had a decent little run with um with Melo and um, Mike. Mike, uh, was it Mike? Not Mike Brown? No, what was the coach's name? Was it Mike Brown? It I was, can't remember. It was, but when Melo won the scoring title... And hey. we got to the we got to the second round. And Stoudemire was there, right? You're talking about the Mellow and, and Stoudemire years? Post Stoudemire years. This is like the Jeremy Lin era ish. Uh, Mike yeah, yeah, the yeah. black ball coach. Yeah, I think it was Mike Brown. I think Mike Brown was on there. Something. I wanna one say. of them one of them years. Yeah, yeah. So like not was, the Dan Tony years. No, no. It was uh <clears throat> it was with Mike Brown. I think it was Mike Brown, but you had Mello, you had uh, uh Tyson Chandler was still there, I wanna say, right? I don't even remember, bro. I think Chandler was there. They had Jeremy. It's Lynn. like it's like I'm having PTSD, like thinking about my sports team. I just forget. I yeah, forget man. the bad years. Yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, honestly, the my cheat code was actually getting into these sports just to just to like let you guys know I was always like just to alleviate the pain. I always watched like San Francisco and the Lakers back in the day when they were winning. So I was like, Oh yeah. Yeah. I just, as, I, as, I mean, as I mean, a Knicks to the Jets fan, you always have to have another team. You have to have another team. Another just team. Ease, ease off these L's. You know exactly. I mean? like, you just got to have another team. That's not like your team's rival that you could kind of root for. Yeah. Man, like I is. had the Dallas Mavericks and I had, uh, who did I have in, who did I have in NFL, man? I really liked. Uh, I really didn't have anybody. The NFL was always just pressure for me. Man, but, yeah, no, nah, actually, NFL was always pretty crazy. But like, yeah, I, just those years with Dan Marino and stuff like that. Like, it was cool. I met Dan Marino, so I kind of fucked with him, but I didn't fuck with the Dolphins. Nah, I, I fuck with Dan though. Yeah, I, I rock with Dan as far as like, uh, you know, I've I done actually. I've, Ended up in, in a few business things. It's kind of cool. Like, he's actually a cool guy. So, like, I have nothing negative to say about Dan Marino off the field. But on the field, I was a Steve Young fan. Just it is what it is, bro. Like, I, you know what I mean? I, Steve was dope. Like, it just it is Steve what was it dope. is. Steve was my favorite I think favorite I'd say QB. the Chargers, bro. Chargers? Might be the Chargers. Yeah, they had the best jersey, so I can understand. Yeah, their jerseys were fire. I can understand. Junior Seau and all that. Jerseys were fire. So, Ladanian. Yeah, LT, uh, Rivers, and Gates. Like, that, the three-headed monster, that was, that was like, amazing stuff, dude. Like, yeah, that was fire. Yeah, you know I mean? Like, like, yo, it was so bad that, like, I never picked the Jets in Madden. I never picked the Knicks in 2K or live. I never, like, yo... I couldn't. It was, that's how bad it was. Yeah, it was, I mean, honestly, it's like you're playing with the handicap to lose, though. If yeah, you, if you're ever to pick those guys. I started playing FIFA because of it, though. <laughs> like that's when I started getting into soccer. You know, it was messed up though. Like when LeBron finally came to the Heat, and this is when it's like, oh, you can't pick the Heat. I'm like, man, all these years I've been waiting. Like I had D Wade, it was cool and everything. I had Shaq, that was definitely cool. But f- before that, it was kind of it was some rough years playing those video games trying to win. You know what I mean? It was definitely rough. Like I, I couldn't get any wins off like that with the Heat. When I had the LeBron years, I'm like, yeah, let's run it, bro. I got <laughs> let's let's do it. I'm ready. I'm on your head top about that, man. But it was some good times, bro. Definitely some good times. Speaking of good times, though, did you listen to the new Push album? Yeah, yeah. And I got a theory about that album. I got I got but, a theory. I, got, I have a... But can I, I got, before you go, go ahead, really go quick. Go ahead, go ahead. Before you go really <clears> quick, <throat> there's a, a theory about the album that Drake was hating on it. And I'll explain to you why. Because the other day, I was with the homie Constant, you know what I mean? It's an artist, cool shit, you know what I mean? But, I, and I had to show him, I'm on the Rap Life playlist on Apple, ready to play. I'm playing, I'm trying to play the song. It's number one. It's him and Lil Uzi Vert, 
right? And Don Tolliver. I think yeah, the yeah, name yeah. is called Scrape It Off or whatever. Yeah, I know that song. And to me, that's like my favorite song off the album because I just heard it two days ago because it was like Saturday night or whatever. Like, keep trying to play the song. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm, I'm trying to play it, trying to play it. Won't play. I play the next song, which is like Little Baby, whoever plays like that. I turn off my phone. Well, actually, I shut down the app, then turn off my phone, turn it back on, plug it back in. Same thing all night. The whole next day, I'm like, dog, I think Drake hated on this man because I'm like literally showing him. Six could, God got the power, man. I mean, he did have the $20 million. <laughs> didn't he have the $20 million uh, Apple deal? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to protect him. They're going to yeah. protect him. So, yeah. I, like, they were supposed to run up those numbers. That's actually the best song on the album to me. It's you a pretty I mean? it's a pretty good song. Like that's just to me if I had He a, got a bunch of really good songs. No, like, he does, but you know, just one that you could just play every day, no problem. Was it like 13 tracks, 12 tracks? Yeah, it's like 13 to 12. I think it might be 12 to 13 tracks. I I, I got it pulled up anyways actually. I think he's it's 13. No, it's actually 12? 12. It's up to 12. And he's got a, a pretty good few features on there. He's got one with Kanye, he's got one with Jay-Z or Pharrell. You know. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. Another, Didn't you tell me um like Pharrell did half, Kanye did like the other half, and then they collabed yeah, on the beat. Yeah, yeah, they they basically Arnold Palmer the the production. You know what I'm saying? They came in with some nice sauce, and they and Yo. they did what they had to do. And honestly, and and it's crazy because it's literally six songs a piece that they yeah. got to work on. Yeah, okay, it's twelve songs, so they got to literally split it down to half. Nobody got more than the other, you know. And you know, Kanye does have an ego, so that kind of worked out. For the everyone. beats were fire. Oh yeah. Um, I could definitely tell which one were Pharrell's and which ones were Kanye's. Like, that was definite. Um, mm -hmm. The thing about put okay, so I got I got two camps. I got two camps when it comes to artists. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like there's artists that give you a moment in time, and then there's like artists that not necessarily you can grow with, but they grow with time. You know what I mean? And Pusha T, I first, I, I, I first thought Pusha T was the kind of artist that continually gave me that same moment in time every single album. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I wanted that really hard, dope rap, drug bars, all of that stuff, I get it from Pusha T. And it was always the same hard yeah, trap hey. bars, dope, dope part, like... Coke rap. Coke rap. <laughs> yeah, you get what I'm rap. saying? He's definitely Mr. But, coke rap. With this kind of last, with this last, his last couple projects, Daytona included, he, he does grow. He grows with time, but It'll still give it's, you just, that sauce. it's just the sauce. It's the same sauce. It's aged. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's the same, you know, he picks the right beats, the right beats that's good for him in this time, not just going for a, a metro boom and be, you know what i mean like or something like that nothing no, nothing wrong with metro but like the beats are fire the bars are fire his little double entendres his tip triple entendres all of that stuff he's giving it to you again i agree but it's like it's like new you know what i mean it's kind of like it's kind of refreshing no, nah, hey, you know what? What the funniest part about like being an older artist and things like that? I'm not a rapper, just so you guys know. But like being being that we're watching the rock and rollism of rap right now, because yeah, it's, it's basically what's happening. Like you can actually have some old acts come out there. You can have a Griselda come out the woodworks. You know, you, you, gonna, you gonna have like you gonna have like thirty year rappers. Listen, Trina could still put on like a, a nice lounge show and get money right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all of them. All of them. So that's kind of cool that, you know. Philly, that, them Philly rappers are getting money. Yeah, like that. That that's the cool part to me about how that is just going overall, like how they're how that's just expanding. So honestly, it, it's 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 kind of cool, man. Like I, I, I really yeah, facts I really like what he's able to put out there. Facts because to to kind of expound on what you just said, uh I never understood Especially like being that hip hop has been like the number one music genre, like a decade now, right? Roughly a decade. Uh, you got a strong decade. Rough, roughly a decade, definitely. When you started seeing those like nationwide commercials, right? With but the it was rap like music. 
That was like, all right. But it was like, usually rap rappers only got like a five-year run, really. Like, in my lifetime, like the older rappers kind of had like a whole decade. But like in my era, it was, it was like... Five and done. Five and done. That's You had a good five-year run to put out to put out some albums and then about your sixth year you started getting whacked. And yeah. then by your seventh year you were you were just chilling. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of rappers that you can put in that box. I mean, right there, there was a lot of them like DMX had pretty much a good strong five year run. Then yeah. he went into movies. Ja Ja Rule had like a good three, four year run. I could argue Fifty had a good five, six year run. I could argue that DMX easily could have stretched out his run because he dropped a lot of his he dropped two albums that that same, his first two albums were dropped in the same year. Same year. Yeah. So like. Yeah, but that was because it. he was. Yeah. He was the the biggest thing. He was he was Drake before Drake. He was numbers, the he was the biggest thing. Yeah, he was Drake before Drake numbers wise easily, you know. And then yeah, the movies really started kicking in, and uh, I mean other things started kicking in, but you know that's rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? But DMX is definitely a legend, dog. Like, yeah, I, I mean I'm not I'm not taking away from their legendary status. I'm just yeah. saying like. The 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 oh, the, the ecosystem and the economy of hip hop at that point, you have five years, man, five, five years. and less, and hold on to your bread. Five and less. Yeah, it was it was the uh, five and less, and hold on to the your few bread. rappers that transcended that. Nas and Jay Z, right? Nas, Jay, oh Snoop, Snoop, Snoop easily transitioned. Uh, like, but Snoop is a different cat. Snoop is a celebrity celebrity. Snoop is a different cat. You know what I mean? Snoop was a Snoop was a was a was like him in the West Coast vibe. That was a force of nature. You know what I mean? Man, how many times you've seen Snoop on TV this week? Snoop on like seven shows. He's selling me beer. Um, yeah, you say he don't even drink that shit. That's the funniest part. I was dying. He's selling me beer. He got everybody in the commercial wearing blue. True. They and got they he and he, they got what you would call it uh, everybody's favorite favorite LBGTQ uh, spokesperson in it uh, Sue Bird yep uh, the Duke guys the Kentucky guys Vince Carter they all wearing blue Duke do you know what blue. I mean for Snoop so that's big Snoop. that's big that's big when you think about where the blue where the blue you know what I mean like that's big I'm not even going to say they've had, it. they've had a big year they've had a big year they even made it on the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a big year for the blue right now. You know what I'm saying? Like kudos. Like that's a that's actually a, a real growth in that. You know what I'm saying? They're they actually apparently they got an LLC too. <coughs> uh, with Big U. I don't know if that's a joke or not, but That's what's up. Yeah, like that's a real that's thing. That's what's up, man. Monetize that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a whole real thing. Oh, other uh albums that actually came out is a, I know nothing other than push your teeth. So anything you tell me is gonna be a surprise. Uh, it'll be a surprise, but not a like not a crazy surprise. But like, uh, what I see is a new release is that Wiz Khalifa has been like releasing all his old mixtapes so he can get them on DSPs. Okay. So he has he has been like clearing samples throughout like the many many years. So now instead of going on YouTube, all those little smoker stoner songs and shit like that that you guys like or loved back in the day, you know, you'll have your kids in the yeah, car. Yeah, that's dope. Been, he's been clearing because. The the there's new the new cabin fever mixtape is horrible without those cleared samples. No, man. no, but there's a few that's not cleared, which I'm I'm about to touch on right now. He dropped the uh, and this is probably like his last mixtape to me that I actually still kind of like. Taylor All the Dice was the last one that was that's the one halfway that he, decent. He, he just dropped that one. That's the one. He cleared all the samples. Nah, the one that he did cleared was my favorite song, and it was like with uh, it was the one that's called the cruise. And man, let me tell you something, man. The new beat is trash. The new vocals Duh, on the it new, is the, trash. The song on Cabin Fever, that's on I. I think it's on Apple Music, bro. The 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 beginning one with um Big Sean and shit. That shit is so. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The sample clearing, man. Jesus Christ, dog. It, it, that's like one of the worst things to do. The, that's the one that's supposed to have the Jason, uh, the Jason, the or uh, no. Michael Myers or something like that. Is it's the sample on there that they I can't remember. But I have it. I can't play it because we probably can't get that cleared. But no, it's the Champions beat. I don't think they could clear the Queen sample. 
Oh yeah, no, nah, he did that one too. Yeah, I do remember that. Um, but no, nah, there was a few songs on there that wasn't clear too. Which phone which just, numbers? That's the one I'm phone, talking about. Phone numbers wasn't clear. It just bugged me on there. It was the uh, it was the voice. Uh, it was the voice with the uh, scratching on there, or whatever. The uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm mad at I'm real mad at that. So like, yeah, Taylor Alter Dice is out. You guys can check it out, but the cruise does not have the original beat. So, you know, to me, it's almost fucked the whole thing because I'm just mad, so mad that he couldn't get that one cleared. Yeah, but bro. I'm like, kind of real salty about that. that but other that, than that, that type of stuff, it ruins things. It's like it never, it's like when you go to listen to shit, if you don't have your old CD <laughs> or that old MP3 that you downloaded from some site somewhere, man. That's like, that's like, you know, doesn't what? even make sense anymore. That's like putting some fish on the table, nice and cooked up, grilled up, or steak if you like it, or any type of food if you're vegan and all that, and then putting a glass of milk right next to it and say, enjoy your dinner. You ruined it. Ugh. You ruined it. Ugh. Who eat? Ugh. Who it's, drinks milk? It's like people that eat mayonnaise. Ugh. That's disgusting. It, it's, all, it's all the kids in school when they give them milk with all their food. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, yeah, Yo, that's the worst thing ever. In school, yeah. I, I, I gave my milk away. You had to like trade it for juice or just go to the vending machine. I never machine. understood why milk was served with every meal in school. It just doesn't make sense. You got, they had burgers serving Ugh. up and pizza. And they, they uh, had the and give you chocolate milk, right? They have chocolate milk and regular milk with all the percentages, too. Low fat, skim, 2%, skim, 2%. Like the whole thing. Uh, the whole yo, spectrum. When you, think of, when, you th when you think about that, dog. What kind of grimy stuff are y'all like? What type of disgusting <laughs> things did they used to do to us, And dog? then y'all wonder why the bathrooms is looking real filthy. And, and, and uh, janitor, janitor. You're giving niggas Mexican pizzas with chocolate milk. <laughs> Yo, hey, I pro I promise you, I definitely never seen the same janitor stick throughout the whole year. <laughs> like, oh yo, man, God bless them. The, man, they would swap out the companies left and right, left and God bless them, right, man. Because, bro, it don't make no sense, man. It's just a stew. And they remember they they brought in the salad bar, oh. and then they gave you salad with milk. With milk, <laughs> like, what are you doing with a spice cake dessert? <laughs> And then, and then you wondering why the bathroom and the locker room smell Yo. like holy hell. You know what I'm saying? Like these these kids' faces looking all greasy and pussy. Come on, bro. Dog. Come oh on. What are y'all doing? All those hormones, dog. Jesus Christ. This almost makes me want to go down to uh, to downtown and start talking. <laughs> I, we need to clear some votes. I hope. These I hope. I hope kids ain't drinking milk at every meal again. It. I hope Yo, they stop that shit. Can y'all just start drinking some actual just water? Drink some water. <laughs> you know what I mean? Drink, drink some water. Drink some water. Trust me, you'll 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 thank me later in life. Drink I water. I wouldn't be mad if they had like some type of healthy juice that was sponsored with every like school though. I, I wouldn't be mad at that. That'd probably be a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's Ain't no like, money in that though. Uh, they might be. Actually. School board be wanting that money. Nah, there. If you put it like okay, you can put them in the vending machines, and there is money in that because you can yeah, grow, facts. Like literally, we had Coca Cola machines in our in our whole place, so that kind of made facts. you a Coke kid. You know what I mean? Like Coca Cola. It used to be Coca Cola, Gatorade. You giving what the fuck you giving niggas Gatorade in, in school for all day, <laughs> all day. We, that's, that's how they running it. So that's why I mean, like I think it was it's a good play. The Minute Maid fruit punch cans. We no, nah, we had since we were I think Coke is Powerade, right? Coke is Powerade and then Gatorade is no. Pepsi, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So like we had the Powerade machines and we then had the Pepsi. We had Pepsi. Oh uh, yeah, so if y'all are Pepsi boys, y'all ga y'all had Gatorades all through y'all joint. Man. So for us, we had Coca Cola and all those companies with along with Powerade. So that would be our yeah. I remember it because honestly, like you know, I, well definitely definitely was illegally pulling my arm in there after I learned how to rob those little freaking <laughs> vending machines in school. But that was like my. My little hoodlum days, you know Man. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, like, nah, hey, hey it was actually kind of, it, it wasn't that bad because right before I started, like, lifting weights, this was before 10th grade, like, you get into high school and they be like, man, I got to start lifting, man. <laughs> like, sorry, you start seeing these damn 12th graders and you, like, small as hell. You're like, man, I kind of want to play some football and get a little bit bigger. So, you, before that, 
you know, uh, my homeboy, you know, I'm not going to say his name or nothing. Actually, no, I will say this one. It's Funky, Funky Matas. He's, actually, he's the one that taught me this one. So, yeah, this is hilarious. Okay. Um, this dude was like, yeah, we're waiting, we're waiting for our class. We got a computer science class or whatever, and we're about to go in. And then he's like, we're just chilling by the vending machine, just hanging, da 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 And then he's like, yo, Clark, look out real quick. I'm like... All right, I ain't even asked what he's doing. Then I see him get <laughs> go down on his knees real quick in the vending machine hole, sticks his left arm in, goes left and pulls like a bike chain. Pulls the bike chain. One comes out. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, get me one. I'm watching. This. <laughs> and then, and he's like, I'm like, we start drinking, just laughing. And then, you know, class is about to start, but everybody goes in. Teacher ain't there yet, but the door is open. And we're like, I'm like, man, show me how to do that real quick. <laughs> Cause all right, boo Facts. boo, boo start uh, pulled out two more, gave some to the chicks inside. There you got to wash your arm out because you got a little grease in. Yeah, too crazy. Black <laughs> part, you got that yeah. black shit on your you arm. Know, they got they got them dark skin, so it, it hit a little bit, you know. But yeah, man, those are some good times, bro. Like, uh, thank thank you, Coca Cola. You guys, uh, you guys definitely saved me some money back in the day. But I'm almost a thousand percent sure after we were doing that though like after like three four months they started getting those other machines with you know how they have the rows and it looks like a refrigerator and then they pull it that's yeah. when those, that's when those started coming into school real fast because they just i know their count was dumb low after a while like between just me and him yeah it was like man <laughs> damn y'all was going in yeah oh my god you know as a kid when you find something to do and that's not the right thing you used to start going all the way in yeah just, just for you the don't fun stop. of it yeah you just don't, you don't really stop. stop I didn't even get caught it was like it was just after the machine stopped I was like man I, I'm i not trying to figure this one out it's like too much to try now like gotta figure out a whole method I'm, I'm waiting on the homie to like let me know he's like alright it's over fam. <laughs> it's over Man, good times though, man. I gotta say, real good time. Shit, was that like one of the only things that came out, or was there more stuff though? Oh, uh, the Wiz. Oh, on the Wiz. Honestly, there's other a few, than Wiz. Nah, there's a few artists that I actually still want to listen to, and I can't necessarily give their review. But there's this artist yeah, cool. named Bass. He's oh, got on he, um Dreamville. Yeah, yeah. Bass got got. He's, uh, he's MVP. pretty good. And then Blast has something as well. That's a Cali dude. Yeah, and I, I'm kind of. I, think i've seen this video on you know like when you watch and you know i go down my youtube verse and you talk shit about that all the time but you know like those ads come in last kind of give me the uh the nate dog vibe but just a little bit more range you know what i mean like exactly. he's, he's like the hook man right now exactly for a lot of these cali songs and then another artist that's uh out that i think you've got in contact with fully before but taylor bennett Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, fucking the, uh, chance, chance's, chance's brother. brother, chance's brother that can be a stand-in at any point in time. Any time. Like, if, I feel like they have two dummy cars and, and Taylor been doing. Taylor the, ride. the thug one. <laughs> Taylor the thug one too. Of course, he the thuggish one. He probably he probably like yeah. Uh, chance the rappers coming. Da 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 da. Taylor pop out and just snuffs cause <laughs> <laughs> just snuff him real quick. Like hey man, I heard you've been talking that talk. So he dropped the album or yeah he dropped project yeah he dropped the project for sure and and let me let you know what the the project name is for blast and blast is before you go and okay. and for uh, Taylor Bennett is coming of age just so for those two projects and then okay the other two projects I have been skimming through it's on playlist but I for me when I get into like actually listening to the album playlists do help because like you might it, they usually put your best foot forward right and then yeah. i then i'm like okay i need to listen to the rest of this album like that's usually what it's been doing for me because all my other outlets since uh the streaming service has been dominating i don't kind of get it as early as it used to be you know yeah, what I mean? we don't get we don't get the uh we don't get the uh the mixes anymore yeah i used to get the early mixes unless you know we're working with the, the uh those artists and things like that but the two other projects that i've been listening to is t grizzly and Fredo Bang and T Grizzly. Fredo's like, cool. You know, T T Grizzly was all right. It's not bad. It's half T, half beast. That's his. <laughs> you With know, the chain on the cover, right? Of course. <laughs> He's Sounds got- good. Yo, he is a beast, bro. I heard I heard that uh in GTA, you know, on Twitch and shit, mm-hmm. they've been getting down. Him yeah. and uh T Grizzly's camp, 4PF. <laughs> 
they've been getting down on the modded shit. Yeah, man. You know, you got 4PF with, uh, which is actually, if you guys don't know, that's the Lil, ba- Lil Baby's label. And yeah, they have basically modded GTA games yeah. in different cities. Uh, in different cities that's go- on PC only. So if on you got PC a PS5 only. or Xbox, I don't think you could really get down with the modded. So it's like PC. And a lot of these uh, little little wars go on into like Twitch and everything. And Twitch is a huge gaming platform, big platform, big big streaming platform in general. But there's a lot of gamers on there. Yeah. So long story short, yeah, they kind of had like a little almost like a real life situation coming from a game. It sounds silly, but uh, Twitch is a very powerful platform. So. They're they make a lot of money on Twitch. Yeah, they're making a lot of money. Let's just say if it's, it's not seven figures, it's not six, but a nice five piece every time is just for know, niggas watching you play video games. Just, just think ima- about it. Imagine every stream you're getting a nice five five figure de- uh, deal coming to your pocket to your account every time. I'm not going to disclose the number that I heard. So yeah, man, uh, uh, it got pretty serious. Basically, you know, T Grizzly fell asleep, and one of the four PF guys decided to go in, <laughs> shoot him up, and then like get out of there for jokes and everything like that. And T Grizzly fell asleep live on the stream. That's how they knew they hacked in their way into the city, and then also T Grizzly decided to get revenge and go to, uh, you know, actually before that, didn't they, he like lock them, lock everybody out, or yeah. lock everybody out and like robbed everybody or some wild yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. So the funniest part is they ended up, he ended up doing that to, uh, I think, 4PO, or they did that to him because he came back after he woke up and everything and, and did that. And, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then 4PO did that to him. F. So. 4PF did that to him and then he ended up flying to Atlanta and pulling up on one of those guys because it got that serious you know allegedly this is all alleged you know what I'm saying rumors but hey I'm pretty sure there's some video that's tape. funny though yeah it, to me that's hilarious it's when I, the metaverse gets I, real yeah yeah so th- this metaverse thing can actually turn into something so it was a pretty fun funny like story that I heard and it was just like man I had it it's, it's yeah, hilarious yeah, yeah, so, it's hilarious when you think about it like yeah and to me, GTA is actually like one of the most realist metaverse like things that kind of pre came out before anything else. It's it's really hilarious. Yeah, that in the 2K neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually it's actually pretty crazy that they decided to come up with whole worlds for people to like get into, get your own cars, get you know like it, it's I guess it's escapism or whatever. But now nah, it's pretty funny. I mean, it's funny, but at the same time, when you're making about like. Seven figures, I mean, not seven figures, but definitely they're making by the end of the year a nice six-figure check for sure. A strong six-figure check, and they're making five figures every time they stream. You do the yeah. math. I mean, they, if I'm if I'm them, I'm streaming every night. They're getting donations. They're doing all of that, and then the re, yeah. and then the repost on YouTube, and then go into other platforms that want that content. It's, yeah, it's just really easy to monetize all of that shit, man. Yeah, they're 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 doing a good job stretching the product. So, I mean, honestly, congrats to those guys, but also congrats to giving giving us a nice good laugh too, bro. It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it was a nice good time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and then the other album that I was really listening to, like I said, was Fredo Bang. It's called Two Face Bang Two. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's got some good songs on there. Also, he was another installment of the Two Face Bang series. Yeah, he's got a video out that's uh, with Roddy Ritz, the last one left. Uh, the hom- I just heard that song. I think. Yeah, the homie uh, Nelly. Shout out to Nelly. Chopped him up. You know, that's his barber. That's our barber. You know, and yeah, yeah, he said yeah. He was shout on out set. Nelly. He said he was on set. This shit was looking. Speaking dope. of which, I need to make an appointment with that guy. Yeah, he'll get you sharp and right brother he'll get you sharp and right and then he's got no love with sleepy hollow that i heard i've heard the one with proud of me i was also heard paper and federal uh raid those mm-hmm. songs are uh pretty good and talk to me is also another good one he's he to me like for being from new orleans and things like that he's definitely a pretty strong artist from out of there because if you like name the active like new orleans artists you have kevin gates boozy you got little wayne you have him you have nba, NBA young boy like and they have their own little beef thing going but here nor there that like nobody right now is talking about how you know useful new orleans could be to you and then you know, of course you have currency the hot spitter and all those other guys that can still produce some money yeah, but that's his currency's his own market yeah yeah but you still got it he is he's like he's like he's uh, la he's la new or he's la two ways uh, two ways la nah he's, he's a like two-way LA player. currency got his own market remember rolling loud was started off of him 
No, for sure. But he's a two way LA market though. LA, Louisiana, and then or or you know, I don't know exactly, but then you have LA LA. I feel like he he reps. He's the cool kids, one of the cool kids' favorite rappers. Yeah, know? he like, definitely all the cool reps. kids love currency. Yeah, I don't think anybody's ever had an issue with him. I remember one time somebody was like, Man, who is this? This is this is a whack verse. And he's like, Oh, it's currency. I'll let it slide, it's currency. Literally, that's what the dude said. It was like, I was like, huh? <laughs> he was like, he didn't like the verse, heard it. Heard that was Currency and just did a 180 on it like Currency was in the car looking at him. <laughs> like, oh man, I, I just started laughing. But you know, some people are so cool that you can just it just is like rolls off your back, you know? Like you're yeah. like, I, I don't care, man. You just cool to sell. Like a Dr. J type, you know what I'm saying? Dr. J could kiss your mom and give you a hug and you won't feel no problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Probably even, uh, might, hey, even yo. uh, might even slap your mom's ass low key, but in a smooth way. You know what I'm saying? Like MJ did to Mary Jane. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> man, but nah, man, there's some good album. There's some good little music to come out, man. I'm, I'm actually excited. And speaking of other new music that is coming out, and I think Future has one coming out and it's actually going to be called i never liked you a song no the album really yeah 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 future back it up again that's back what's up again. that's what's up man i think i think the world needed a new future album we needed the toxic masculinity oh yeah and you know needed what it. needed let, it let me just for shits and giggles man let me give you guys the uh track listing man you got 7 12 p.m that's track number one track number two is i'm that and that's it's already two. out. Uh, he's he. What's out is a track listing. Okay. But, but if you go on Apple Music, it's probably like faded out to to gray until yeah. To, well, tomorrow is probably going to release. It's probably going to be a Friday night tonight. You know, tonight. midnight, midnight. You know, um, I'm that end is number two. Track number three, Keep It Burning, featuring Kanye West. Number four, For a Nut, featuring Gunna and Young Thug. Jesus Christ. You have number five, Puffin on the Zooties. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, number six is Gold Stacks. Puffing on the Zooties? Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely going to listen to that first, honestly. I feel I'm, I'm kind of interested in Okay. That. Something about like crazy names is always something for me. Um, track number seven, Wait For You. Drake, featuring Drake and Thames. So I'm that, probably going to listen to that one first. No, oh, that's always going to be good. They're, they're, they're like uh, Kobe and Shaq without the beef. You know, it's, and like uh, Jay-Z. Thames is like my, my plus size fantasy. You know who, <laughs> you know who could have been Drake and uh, Future way back, though, before we go, uh, not to go on too much of a tangent, but R. Kelly and Jay-Z. That nah. Definitely, you don't think, the best of both worlds definitely I mean, had. Do you don't remember the best of both yeah, worlds? Yeah, I remember best of both worlds. But shh. I think they had that same type of tandem, and they it just two different camps. But then, like you're up. putting, you're you're just like mentioning R. Kelly in the same breath with other niggas. Just seems dirty. Oh no, for sure. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm just I'm going music for music, not not you know you know R. Kelly to Trey songs. I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally saying music for music. I think like, you R. Know, Kelly it, was pissing on little girls. They're like these niggas is pissing on, I, on grown women. I wasn't thinking about him pissing. Allegedly, on I was just thinking about the tracks, man. Allegedly, why we got to go there? Now we gonna move on to the next one, man. <laughs> now we gonna move on to the next one, man. Track number seven is "Love You Better." Damn. Okay, future. Really? He's gonna. I don't I'm think, gonna love you better. He might. He might actually use that in that sample. But um, the next one is uh, track number nine, "Massage Me." You know what I mean? Yes. And AK, yes, Toxic King. All right, then you have uh, track number 10, Chickens, featuring ESTG. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, you heard that the brick of fentanyl could change your life. That's that's Shit. that's ESTG all day. That's his bars. Uh, not me. Sorry. Allegedly. No, that's... It's shit. Yeah, he's wild with that one. I his whole... Ki- yeah, we yeah skip. let's not even get into let's, that. Let's skip to my loo that that subject. Um, track number eleven. It's we just gonna get high. Okay. No features. All right. Track number twelve. Voodoo featuring Kodak. Kodak has been actually killing all his features yeah. this year. The one on Gunna's joint, his joint. He got another one. Project I, Baby. And then yeah, he got one with uh. Roddy Rich. So like every time he's jumping on a track, he's he's pretty much dancing, sliding, doing all that. Track number 13, Holy Ghost. Track okay. Number, track number 14, The Way Things Going. Track number 15, I'm On One. 
featuring Drake. I wonder if he's going to bring back the hook. Yeah, Get for him real. on. You know what I'm saying? I can't sing for not a damn thing. I'd rather play some instruments. Track number 16. He got two Drake songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You know, they were talking, remember they were talking about this is a doing. Big, this is a big project. You remember they were talking about doing the album, right? What? Uh, the, oh, you mean. um. You know, What a Time, I think. What uh, a Time Part 2? Yeah, so maybe they got together and it was like, okay, let's just do some solo shits with ours and cut them into our albums. That's probably what went I'm down. here for What a Time, What a Time to Be Alive Part 2. And track number 16, which is the last track, which is kind of unusual to have this many tracks in today's day and age, but I'll, I'm here for it. It's is, an album. Yeah, Back to the Basics. Okay. Back to the Basics. Sounds it's, good. No, I'm rocking. I'm oh. here. I'm here. I'm here for Future's new, new album. And honestly, if I count the features, if you double stack Drake on one, you got Kanye, Gunna, Young Thug, Thames, and ESTG plus Kodak. That's not, Yeah, but he got like he three got a, people on one song, though. No, it's I'm, not like they're all, they all have their own separate song. No, no. I'm just saying he has seven total features. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, But that's yeah. not seven different songs on features. Like... That's that's good. That's gonna that's it's gonna, gonna be a, yeah. I'm waiting for this. That's a nice one. mix. That's a nice mix right there. You know, uh, toxic. The toxic summer is about to be spinning, <sighs> spinning the block. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. I can't wait to tell tell these. You know what I'm saying? These little females. Thank you, these, Lori Harvey. You know what I'm saying? Thank hey, you, Lori Harvey. Hey, come get it back in blood. You feel me? <laughs> AKA the future way. Nah, man. But nah, on, on some real stuff, future makes some great music. It's fun music. You know, I don't take it that serious, but sometimes you do because sometimes you be saying some of the realest things too. You know, it, it, it's it's street gospel to us. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. You, you just yeah. have you have the Holy Ghost and you feel gangster, but also smooth, a pimp, and the a, Book of Nadeus. You, know I mean? you feel P and you be feeling like you want to, you know what I mean? So yeah, that, I, I ain't gonna speak on it too much. But every dude that listens to a future song that they, they like, know. they know. Everybody knows. You be walking out like you got the a big Cuban chain on, chest out. <laughs> you be like, hey, girl, I wish you would say something. I'm, I'm, I'm about to have bronze and I'm, I'm about to do all that. <laughs> fly shit on it. You know fly shit. <laughs> Man, but nah, man. I think I think that's it, man. I think we 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 done enough today for this. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm feeling good about today, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I don't really have that much to say. Nah, I think I think I'm about. You know, I mean, like, there's some good shit on TV. You know. Yeah. Uh, what, if there's any, tell tell. Oh, tell me what good you shit watching. on good shit on TV. Yeah, tell me what you um, want to watch out there, man. You got Batman. Batman's on HBO Max. Can't wait for um, that. Gotta watch that for show. Spider, I think Spider Man's on Disney Plus. Okay, okay. Um, oh, hello. Oh, the second, the second uh, part of Ozark is out now. Oh, the second part of Ozark's out. It should be. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, so I can finally watch the yeah, third season. Yeah, yeah. Basically okay. on Friday, all all the best Netflix shows tend to just release on Friday, like like all the music is now. So, you know, they the movie companies battling the music companies, and they own them. So it, whatever. But Ozark, yeah, that's coming out second half. So yeah. For the bingers, you can go all the way through, run it up, run it up. And there's run a lot it up. of shit. There's a lot of shit on TV. There's a lot of like free stuff on TV if you got cable. Um, it's the playoffs. Um, what Thanks. else? Like I said, the draft is tonight, so you know that we're recording this on Thursday. Yeah, draft um, is tonight. Go ahead and watch some of these uh, unknown guys come to your team, except for the receivers. Like the receivers are really going to be known. There's actually some good talent for all the other other uh, positions like the O-line D tackles and all that. So just to give you There's an not too many new games out per se. Um nah, not anybody that I that's a gamer. Um Yeah, that's about it, man. Like no new animes, no nothing, honestly. It's it's pretty it's been pretty pretty boring. Yeah, it's been pretty dry out here when it comes to the entertainment besides um, like sports, you know what I'm saying? Disney's oh you was talking about Disney dropping dropping nuts on on, on um, Gangster Ronnie D. Yeah, actually, before we even get to that, I'll, I'm gonna actually just talk about their upcoming slate, and then we're gonna get into what they're doing. Okay. From what I just said, you know, Twitter just drops off new knowledge. You know how they do that. So uh, what I can see right now is they got from this next quarter dropping. Obviously, Doctor Train, Multiverse of Madness is the next big uh, Marvel movie coming out. You have uh, Pixar's Lightyear coming out. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be. 
That's supposed to be like big. Yeah, it definitely, definitely. It's like, like Buzz it. Lightyear, the prequel. Oh wow! Okay, so his whole story that kept running to Woody, like when we were like, no, yeah. like the real Buzz Lightyear, not the toy. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not gonna, it's not. They're not. It's Pixar, so they're gonna yeah, still. It's still gonna be like uh, 3D animation, but it's not gonna be the toy. It's version. not the toy. It's gonna be what they made the toy of. Okay, got you. Who they made the toy of? Okay, got you on that one. So now. The next Marvel one would be Thor Love and Thunder is coming out. Next behind uh, Doctor Strange. Oh, a big one is. Oh, well, it's not that big. But if you like Bob's Burgers, they're having a movie. Yeah, I saw that. That might be. I'm some, a big Bob's Burger fan. That might be something I'm checking out. Um, you have the Banshees, uh, Ishern, Ishern, and then another actual big movie, which is taken. Man, Yo, when is when is fucking Blade coming out? Tell you soon. But there's a big movie that's taken out, taken years to come out. I mean, uh, the blue, the blue people, Avatar. Yeah, they're, finally, they actually like dropped. eight years ago we saw that they were gonna make six of these things. Yeah, we use the same. We have the same camera. Uh, red cameras is what they use to film a lot of a lot of a lot of these movies, and they said they were slated to do like six avatars. Like and six years ago. And they're just finally speaking on dropping the next one. So that's crazy. They have this other show coming out or a movie coming out that is called Amsterdam. Okay. What's that about? I wish I knew. They have another one called The Menu. All right. Don't and know then, that one either. Uh, the next Marvel movie after that, uh, Rest in Peace, it is going to be Wakanda Forever. You're going to have that one I out. thought they, I thought they etched out. Okay. And then it looks like from what I could see this is Disney and it says the the title's called Strange World but the font is actually presented like Indiana Jones. So mm-hmm. I, I think there's got to be some correlation to that. Uh you have another avatar, The Way of Water. Okay, there's supposed to be remember there's supposed to be like 60 of these shits. Then, When's that coming out? 2025? Uh it doesn't have any release dates right now. This is just like they're in the seminar dropping this, and yeah, it's like this you remember big... remember why it takes so long, right? Because now, because mm-hmm. they didn't have the technology. Uh-huh. <laughs> they were waiting. Like he had the idea, but there wasn't a, there wasn't the technology to to make the idea go on film. Man, listen. So now that there's the technology, there would have been no freezer cold enough to make six of those movies at the time that they were trying to like actually release those things. Yeah, like that that server that heat that would. Bro, it would it would you ever looked at those like those foreign countries where they have like the water rising and the water dropping because it's just having big server space like Bitcoin and other things? It's same thing. Same exact thing. And then another Marvel movie is actually the Marvels, but that's actually gonna come out after another Marvel movie, which is Garden of the Galaxies Volume Three. Oh, the last one. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be watching that for sure. Um they actually have Indiana Jones coming out and then a Little Mermaid movie. They're, I guess it's the who, who, who LaBeouf? Uh, what Indiana Jones? Yeah, with Shay LaBeouf. I feel like he could do it, but they might be they might Tom Holland the game up. <laughs> he's already he's Tom already Tom Holland was in. Didn't they just do an Indiana Jones? No, nah, Tom Holland is uh Uncharted. Uncharted. It's basically Indiana Jones. It, it, just more. They're saying that um homeboy. I think they finally found the new Wolverine. Who's gonna be it? Uh, the original dude from the Kingsman. The short, the short original guy from the Kingsman. I gotta look at his face. Somewhere. Taron, Taron, Exy. If Exy. you if you ever watched the Kingsman, Exy is supposedly gonna be the new Wolverine. Kingsman from uh, 2014. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna read out some of these guys, and if you want to say is Taron. Taron. Okay. Let's Taren, see. And it's funny. His, his name is Taron, like Egerton or Egerton, and his name is Exy. In Kingsman, but he they they were saying that he might be Wolverine. They're saying that John Ham. You're talking about Aaron Taylor Johnson. No, no, no. Taron. I don't. That name didn't pop up on these uh, on the quick cast. I'm trying to find him right now. Let's see. I see Reese Ethan's. He looks a little bit too old to pull that off from 2014. Only guy that I see that looks like he can pull it off is this Aaron Taylor Johnson kid. Looks like he could definitely play this off. Uh, but let me see if the I can find it. Taron. 
oh, this guy. He looks like he looks like a fake Tom Holland, actually. Well, I mean, he's British too. They all are. No, no disrespect. Even even my favorite gangster that's on Snowfall is freaking British. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, like it's just it is what it is. Them boys took over on the acting game as a whole. There's not going to be somebody from the hometown really doing that much acting. And Will Smith slapped his way out of that one too. Just yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. saying they, they, oh, he's saying starting that to swole he up. Been... He's starting to swole up, hit Pause. the gym for it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, it's smart to get Brolic out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man, like that, it's, it's a crazy, it's crazy what they got going on though. And then uh, there is there is another one called the Haunted Mansion, and and then there is Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania. So that's Ant Man. Yeah, I think it's. Ant-Man. I haven't watched any of the Ant Man movies. Wasn't bad, but they're saying the ones that's supposed to drop in 2022 would be from Doctor Strange up to Strange World. Yeah. And then the split is going to be Avatar, which was right in the middle. And then 2023, we'll have Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Indiana Jones, A Little Mermaid, The Haunted Mansion, and Quantumania. Which would yeah, be. you might not see uh, Avatar I, 6 until 2030. Yeah, I don't th- honestly, uh, 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 to be real, I don't think the Avatar is dropping in 2022. Like, if. Man, it's been long enough. That thing ain't dropping. That's just on. That's just really my personal opinion. But let's get back to what we were speaking on earlier, man. Uh, Disney is in a battle with Ron DeSantis, gangster Ronnie D from Tally Ho. Yeah, man. Um, this just in basically what they what they were speaking on is like uh, DeSantis. In our past, we we spoke on it was him versus Disney. Just to catch you guys up. He just doesn't like how Disney is uh, basically not paying taxes and running everything in Florida. Anything that they want to do, the government basically has to bend over backwards and do it. Now, in, in the past, obviously, Disney put a whole bunch of money into Florida and things of that nature. You know, a whole uh, lot of money, a whole lot of money. Built, so, built cities, built cities, built turnpikes, you name it. If you ever look at the Disney tree and just look at the Mickey Mouse and all the companies, you'll understand how much they built. They actually uh, uh, built the Arvita company that built Western Florida, which houses like from celebrities to your normal everyday rich dentist to your just normal everyday like small business owner. So you can get the picture. It's it's an upper echelon neighborhood, and you know it's like the Parklands of the world, right? Yeah. So or your cat like your mini Calabasas, but not as high as Calabasas. You know what I'm saying? A little above regular suburbia. So, just to get to the point now, um, since they've been in that battle, there's been a representative on this case, and they actually said, I want to perfectly quote it, is that Disney self-governor district says the Florida... uh, Basically, the Disney self-governor district says Florida cannot dissolve it without paying off his debts. Yeah. Disney wants his money. So... Yeah, give me ba- my money. They're they're basically saying, "Give me my money, run my bread, pay me my lajon." Disney's I need my- the plug, and you can't. <laughs> I- Florida cannot run off on him. I need all of that with the with honestly, they can interest. Pr- they could probably get with interest on this too. So the deeper part about this, and I'm kind of worried. I mean, you're a homeowner. I'm I'm hoping to be one very very soon. Um, yeah, like that that actually could affect how some of the housing prices may be. Um, I don't know if it's going to affect us down here, but yeah, the rest of the state. Yeah, we're just like a, you like sometimes you really can't consider South Florida as the rest of Florida. Like North Central Florida and North Florida and all of that stuff. That's a whole different vibe compared to Broward, yeah. Dade, Palm yeah, Beach. Yeah, we we do have our own thing, but it does help because, I mean, even all of our schools tend to still go up there and, you know, yeah. do their prom night, uh, you know, grad nights and all that. So you kind of take away that revenue that would have been spent over there or made over there. I don't know what their deal is, but some money is being made somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Disney, I, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. You feel me? That's a real tough one because big time. I'm saying Disney, Disney is the big homie with the money in this state. Yeah. Um, 
I think I think chances are, seeing, knowing how big uh, Disney is, I think we're gonna have to fold on this one. I mean, shit. If they take if they take Disney out, they better they better they better fully legalize marijuana recreationally the whole nine. That's like they gotta they gotta circumvent some of that hit. I mean, we know DeSantis doesn't bend, fold, or break, but on this one. Ronnie D, I don't know, man. He might, he might have to. These Republican guys, man, they don't like they don't like to be they don't like to be uh, told what to do. I feel like he's screaming out Trey Ray right now, <laughs> just like ready to go at like this. You know he is. Like he's gangster. You know bro. that nigga's ready to fuck some shit up. Like I feel like he definitely has like all types of rags. All he's colors. trying to do. He's trying to do a bunch of shit so he can run for president. Oh no, he's definitely running for president. And like that is another question too. Like I'm not saying you voted for Biden, but if you were a voter for Biden, I would be very upset if I was a black voter for Biden. No, no, not just a black voter. If you just voted for Biden, period. And let's say the next candidate is between the next two candidates somehow is DeSantis and Trump, right? That's a tough choice. It, it's 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 a crazy choice. It's right? a tough choice, but like who you, know, you picking? I don't know. Who you um, Gangster DeSantis. I, you know what, bro? And it, it's all like, like big check, big check Trumps. Like, like a lot of Jamaicans high, say, it's politics. It's all. Or high. It's gas. all the same fuckery at the end of the day. Are you gonna go with high gas Biden? It's like go with high gas Biden or, or what? I it's mean, like what? No abortions. You no. Get, okay, you get hot. You get high gas, but apparently, like the racism is down. There's no. There's no protest. I don't know, man. That, like I don't know. I don't know that, don't know that these now. racist white people are happy with Joe either. No, they're 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 furious right now. They're they're absolutely furious. They're they're like they Joe, are the most upset in Joe's, their life. That Joe said ever he been. ain't he ain't dealing with the Ukraine. Joe. Joe ain't done nothing. Joe ain't done shit for black folk, honestly, since he been in the, since he been in office. What did Kanye say a few years ago about Bush? Yeah, that's what I was saying the other day. Didn't I? Didn't I? I was like, damn, dog. It makes me feel. It makes me feel kind of fucked up because this nigga Kanye kind of was right about all this shit. What's the last time you seen Kamala out? Where Kamala at, nigga? Yeah, he kept saying that shit. I was like, woof, that's kind of rough, but he's got a point here. He's got a yeah, huge point. it's tough, man. I haven't. There, they've been more stuff done for. The only thing Joe's done for black folk I've seen is that he's given crack pipes out for equality. So I don't know. I mean, honestly, Joe hasn't. From what I've seen, and he definitely ain't Obama. No, nah, I he mean, he definitely ain't carrying the Obama bag. No, nah, he's not. But Obama during those Obama days too, that, that gas was crazy too. Though that gas was wild. It, it wasn't five dollars. It was. It was in. It was four fifteen, four twenty. I don't remember gas being that high under Obama. Nah, hey, I'm gonna be real. I, Maybe I, in California. No, nah, no, nah, I'm gonna tell you why I remember. I used to. I, I was up in Tallahassee going to school, and I used to have to work outside of the city, and go about thirty minutes. So gas was a, in, in, with a college budget, right? <laughs> so you already know. You think about everything in life when you're riding out with the college. But oh, God, bro. So I'm sitting there riding out there. Got to take care of like 80 acres of land. So I'm driving everywhere on the property, driving out, driving on a highway, driving through the city. Every time it was gas, it was 425. Right now it's higher than that. And I'm getting it at a discounted rate at Costco. You know what I'm saying? So realistically gas is closer to five so yeah he is definitely doing worse than obama but obama was not that cheap on gas and i actually as a personal president that was just smooth on shit and knew how to talk i liked obama he got us our stats you know what i'm saying he got the first one you know what i mean i'm raising my fist he's probably he's probably gonna be the last one yeah. but at least we got at least one. in our lifetime yeah for sure you know but um these folks ain't letting that happen no, no, definitely not. But like, as far as like a cool president, at least like it's shitty. But you're at least cool enough for us to forget about it a little bit. You know, it, it, it just it is what it is. There were some good things though. Like he, there were some things that kind of trickled over to the next administration, and then the next administration still tore some things down. But there's a few good things that were actually flowing well. I seen how the gas was all the way down. Everything started getting like pretty cheap it wasn't that bad and it and honestly in the back end of his administration there was a lot of jobs being available 
So I looked at it like in results, in a results base. Yeah, it looks like either like the back end of Obama's uh, run and the back end of Trump run was probably the better two runs in the most recent history. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This whole run of Biden right now is not looking good. Yeah, so far, so far, no good. It's not, it's not looking good at all. And I could just tell from my bank accounts and the statements. It's, it's, it's slowly bleeding by comparison. You know what I'm saying? It, it ha- the back end of Trump's kept rising. The start of Biden, the slow, it's like small erosion, just ice chiseling it out, <laughs> carving you to try to be broke, dude. So, I mean, like I said, if I had a vote for one, I mean, I might do Trump and just deal with the. Hopefully Yang runs again. I'm with Yang. Oh, I'm with Yang. But if, if I had to deal with the racists and Trump and, and protests and uh, some bad traffic, but like gas is way down, huh? I think I'm running with that. Yeah, <laughs> you know I don't saying? know, bro. Like, like if, if you could put all my payments down, I got to deal with some races and all that. At least I got the bread to do to fight back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just it is what it is. I, I know it sounds sad, but yeah, I'll, it's either you want the social problems or the financial problems. Wh- which is your battle? Which you is going to cause with? more social problems? <laughs> if you're financially broke, it's going to cause yeah. more. So yeah, everybody going to be hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody's a minority when they broke. Yeah, facts. Message. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Um, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a Rizzy. Subscribe, like, click, do all of those things. And comment. Thumbs um, up. Comment. Let us know what you like, what you didn't like. We'll give it a listen. We'll give it a look. Um, y'all have a blessed one, man. Peace.